you will learn what is management information system types of information systems levels of management importance role and benefits of management information systems for organizations what is management information system the system which provides information to the management is called management information system data is processed into information with the help of system MIS is the use of information technology, people and business processes to record, store and process data to produce information that decision makers can use to make day-to-day -day decisions. A management information system is a computerized database of information organized and programmed in such a way that it produces regular reports on operations for every level of management in a company. Before studying further about MIS, let's learn the level of management in an organization. There are three levels of management, top level management, middle level management, and lower level management. Top level management handles planning. This is done by CEO of the company. Middle level management implements planning which comes under controlling. This is done by middle managers. Lower level management performs operation. This is done by employees or lower level managers. Three basic tasks of management are planning, controlling, and operation control. Now let's study why management information systems are important for the organizations. MIS system serves as a backbone of the company and it helps the organization to stand firm against the competitors. MIS helps in maintaining and managing crucial business data for assisting in complex decision making by the management. The critical information is stored in an organized manner and it can be assessed by the administration quickly whenever required. Management needs to prepare forecasts for strategic planning and determine future goals. Thus, to create such a strategy, it is essential to have accurate reports on prevailing market trends. MIS uses various mathematical tools for analyzing the current market trends and predicting future trends based on such information. MIS reports play a significant role in the strategic planning of the company. It helps in determining the future needs of the company and, and assists in formulating goals and strategy based on such information. Management information system report is also helpful in identifying resources required to meet the company's objective. Therefore, it is important that the information provided by MIS and reporting is accurate and reliable. For any organization, setting up a goal is a very crucial matter and it requires lots of research and development. Since the information provided in MIS reports is based on current data analysis, hence it is considered suitable and material for determining the goal of an enterprise. Also, MIS reporting includes the current market trends analysis and prediction of the future trend. Therefore, it is quite difficult for any company to neglect MIS and reporting. MIS report provides information related to every aspect of activities taking place in the company. Hence, in case any problem arises in front of the management, MIS reports are quite helpful in identifying the source of the problem. Also, MIS and reporting are really useful in finding the solution to such an issue. The relevant information provided by MIS and reporting is utilized in formulating goals and strategy of the company. Also, the performance of the business can be assessed with the help of MIS reports. Hence, MIS plays an important role in increasing the efficiency of the company. The relevant business data information of the company is stored and maintained in the MIS database. Since the MIS database can be assessed at any time, hence the current performance of the firm can be compared with its previous year's achievement to measure the organization's growth. Now, we will discuss the types of information systems. Major types of information systems include EIS, Executive Information System, DSS, Decision Support System, TPS, Transaction Processing System, CRM, Customer Relationship Management, ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, MIS, Management Information System. Let's study them in detail. Executive Information System is a system that allows top managers to quickly retrieve, analyze and disseminate data and information. It transforms the data quickly from all departments including accounting, human resource and operations in the form of reports. Next is the Decision Support System. Decision Support System is a system that allows middle managers to make decisions. It helps companies to identify and solve problems. 
the output from the management information system is used as input to the decision support system. Decision support systems also get data input from external sources such as current market forces, competition, etc. MIS Management Information System It monitors the organization's current performance status. A management information system uses various transaction data from a TPS transaction processing system to help middle management optimize planning and decision making. It provides reports on annual sales data, performance data, or historical records. Transaction Processing System Transaction processing system is used to record the day-to-day -day transaction of a business. An example of a transaction processing system is a point-of-sale system. A point-of-sale system is used to record the daily sales. A transaction processing system ensures that all of the contractual, transactional, and customer relationship data is stored in a safe location and accessible to everyone who needs it. It also assists in the processing of sales order entries, payroll, shipping, sales management, or other routine transactions needed to maintain operations. Enterprise Resource Planning System designed to manage and optimize the flow of information not just between internal business system but in regard the connections your business has with external platforms and organizations. It helped them to implement resource planning by integrating all of the processes needed to run their companies with a single system. An ERP software system can also integrate planning, purchasing, inventory, sales, marketing, finance, human resources, and more. CRM Customer Relationship Management it is a system for managing all companies' relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers. It helps companies stay connected to customers, streamline processes, and improve profitability. It enables customer service teams to manage customer requests and automate service operations by following predefined processes for customer care excellence. Characteristics of MIS MIS plays a very important role in every aspect of an organization. These characteristics are generic in nature. The management information system follows a systems approach. The systems approach implies a holistic approach to the study of system and its performance in the light for the objective for which it has been constituted. The management-oriented characteristics of MIS implies that top-down approach needs to be followed for designing MIS. MIS should determine management requirement along with business goals. MIS should be developed on the exemption-based reporting principle, which means an abnormal situation that is the maximum, minimum, or expected values vary beyond tolerance limit. In such situations, there should be exemption reporting to the decision-maker at the required level. Besides exemption-based reporting, MIS should also look at the future. In other words, MIS should not only provide past or historical information, rather it should provide information on the basis of projections based on which action may be initiated. Integration is a necessary characteristic of a management information system. Integration is significant because of its ability to produce more meaningful information. For example, in order to develop an effective production scheduling system, it is necessary to balance such factors as setup costs, workforce overtime rates, production capacity, inventory level, capital requirements, and customer services. MIS should always develop as a long-term planning because it involves logical planning to get success of an organization. While developing MIS, the analyst should keep future-oriented analysis and needs of the company in mind. MIS development looks really complex as a big system but needs to be broken down into digestible subsystems which are more meaningful at the planning stage. MIS should have a central database in which all data is stored on a central storage medium which can be accessed by any other subsystem at any time. This database should cover information related to inventory, personal, vendors, customer, etc. There are many benefits of MIS which are utilized by managers to achieve organizational goal. Increased customer satisfaction, improved quality and quantity of information, improved quality and quantity management decisions, improved responsiveness, number of competitors condition, improved operational efficiency and flexibility. Improved quality of internal and external communication. Improved quality of planning. Improved quality control and supervision. A management information system plays an important role in business organizations. MIS plays a significant role in the decision-making process of any organization. 
In any organization, a decision is made on the basis of relevant information which can be retrieved from the MIS. Management information systems satisfy multiple needs of an organization across a different functional department. MIS provides relevant information about every aspect of activities. Hence, if any mistake is made by the management, then MIS information will help in finding out a solution to that problem. MIS store all past data and information in its database. That's why the management information system is very useful to compare business organization performance. Today, each business is running in a competitive market and MIS supports the organization to evolve appropriate strategies for the business to grow in a competitive environment. I hope you have learned about management information system, its types, characteristics and role of MIS in organizations. Thank you for watching this video.